Thank you, Michael, for making this great gathering possible. Hello, Peter. It's been seven years since we became acquainted with each other, and I've gotten to know you and really love and appreciate you. I very much appreciate you taking the time to answer the questions that these men of integrity, these marketplace leaders have. Hey, Mr. Daniels, this is Shane Sams. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to come in here and tap into your wisdom and ask you questions on this call. I'm just super excited for this opportunity and cannot wait to hear the answers uh, that you have for my questions. My first question actually comes from my wife, Jocelyn. She wanted me to ask you, you know, how do you keep your sanity? <laughs> through all the success. With more success comes stress, comes responsibility, uh, comes more and more commitments. So how do you stay level? How do you stay sane? How do you uh, keep the pressures of success from overwhelming you? Shane, in my case, it was a clear remembrance of where I came from and the gratitude I had for how God had blessed me. It might sound simple, but that is the reality of what it was. Mr. Daniels, you've probably heard the question, you know, what would you do if you started over with nothing today? Or if you could go back in a time machine and you could ask your 18 year old self anything or tell your 18 year old self anything at all, what would you do? But the problem with that question is I'm 44 years old. I'm not 18. So I would rather you tell me what would you do if you could go back in time and tell your 45 year old self anything? Like if you, if you could go back and say 45 year old uh, Peter Daniels, like here's what you should do. I know you've had some success. You've got this vision. You're really doing some cool things, but look, this is what you should have done. This is my wisdom for you looking back uh, now from the other side of my life. Well, I would advise myself to take more risk because the more you minimize risk, the more you minimize the opportunity for success. Business always presents crisis, but crisis will present both danger and opportunity.